Ladies and gentlemen, enhancing its capability in warship production is part of a line of maritime related facilities. Indian Coast Guard ship Rani Gadindu has been named after the famous spiritual and political leader Rani Gadindu who belonged to Bharatpur cult of Manipur. Shipyard Limited, Vishagapatna. Rani Gadindu. The ship has a complement of 5 officers and 34 men. Deputy Chief Minister Manipur. Manipur. Ladies and gentlemen, Honorable Deputy Chief Minister of Manipur, the Ready young girl.
Develop lady with great mind. May I now greet you, Chairman and Managing Director, Hindustan Shipyard Limited, to deliver for the welcome address. I am General Rajendra Singh, DG, Indian Coast Guard, Sagan Ganmai, and the former English Minister. Why not? We at the Hindustan Shipyard Limited have done our best to further optimize onboard economics and capitalism. We have this right. A big thank you to all Indian Coast Guard personnel involved in the project, CGRPT, and Shitsa, who work with us shoulder to shoulder. In a few minutes from now, the Vela and Spirit of the Vessel will come to life with commissioning of the IPV Rani Guiding I am sure in the decades ahead, this ship will protect India's maritime interests and enforce maritime law in areas of our jurisdiction, be it the territorial waters, the contiguous zone, or the exclusive economic zone of India. I, on behalf of Hindustan Shipyard Limited, would like to wholeheartedly wish the Director General Indian Coast Guard, the Commander of Coast Guard Region East, Congress, and the Commanding Officer all the very best, and all OEMs, contractors, and all personnel who have tirelessly worked toward. I once again thank the Director General Indian Coast Guard for reposing faith. Thank you, sir. Which enables us in fulfilling environmental responsibilities in the maritime zones of India. On behalf of Eastern Region, I welcome the Director General Rajendra Singh. It is my singular honor to be here at this commissioning ceremony of Indian Coast Guard Chef Vani Dandandu. We are also honored and privileged to have the Deputy Chief Minister of Manipur, Sri Gai Khan Gamji, Sri Bonausam Chowa Singh Ji, and Sri Adi Adi Pamai Ji as the guest of honor today for commissioning of the fourth of five insured patrol vessel project. Sri Gaikam Gamji and Sri Adil Pamaji hails from the Ranmoy tribe, the same tribe which the great revolutionary leader Rani Ma Gainelu also belongs. We are also privileged to have Sri Thonaljam Chawa Singh Ji, who is a visionary leader and has been working for the development of the state of Manipur since many decades. It is indeed a very kind of Sri Ganmai Ji and Sri Pamai Ji, Sri Chawa Singh Ji, to have accepted our invitation to grace this commissioning ceremony. Sir, the distance and journey from the hills of Manipur to this city of destiny. Vishakapatna may be the long and wide, but through this vessel, the legacy of Northeast and its great leader will now always be only present in the vast expanse of the maritime zones of India. On this momentous occasion, it will be apt to remember the great freedom fighter and spiritual leader Rani Ma Gaidendu, after whom this is his name. Rani Ma Gaidendu was born in the present day Manipur and led the Hiraka freedom movement against the British since the tender age of 16. She was arrested by the Britishers in 1932 and sentenced to life in prison, in imprisonment and spent 14 years in various 
prison until Prime Minister Sri Jawaharlal Nehru secured her release in 1946. It was he who gave her the title Rani and the people of Manipur gave her the title of Ma and described her as the queen of her people and daughter of the hills. Rani Gandhendu was confirmed with the various awards including the Padma Bhushan in 1982. The Indian Coast Guard is proud to bear the name of such a great freedom fighter, revolutionary and spiritual leader on one of his insured patrol vessels. The Indian Coast Guard plays a major role in protecting the wide-ranging maritime interests of the nation. Since its inception in 1977, the Coast Guard fleet has steadily grown to the present level of 123 ships and 62 aircraft. Besides the major surface platform, the ICG fleet includes fast and inshore patrol vessels like the one which is being commissioned today and interceptor board for close coast patrol and expeditious interception of suspected vessels in our territorial water. Essentially focus on making our seas safer and secure and conducive for maritime commerce. The presence of Indian Coast Guard ship at sea serves the dual objective of deterrence and reassurance. Our presence at sea is reassuring the merchantmen and the fishermen as saviors at sea in times of distress or life-threatening situations. During the last year, itself, the search and rescue efforts of the Indian Coast Guard have resulted in saving of over 356 lives. This is besides assistance in medical evacuations of 29 merchant mariners. Indian Coast Guard Chief Vani Gaidenlu is a new generation in short patrol vessel equipped with advanced sensors and equipment. The vessel is designed to perform multifarious roles at extended range from the coastline including surveillance of the maritime zone of India, search and rescue, anti-smuggling, anti-poaching and high speed introductions. In a postcard ship, Rani Gaidendu is a result of the professional and dedicated team at Hindustan Shipyard Limited. I would like to thank Thank you, sir. Director General Rajendra Singh, to kindly unveil. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for Indian Coast Guard Chef Rani Gaidendra.
Ready, sir? Yeah. All the best, guys. All the best.